Today we take a look inside the career of registered dietitian, a healthcare professional who's an expert in food and nutrition. Caitlin Boyer works as a clinical dietitian at Intermountain Medical Center. After high school graduation, this career requires a four-year Bachelor of Science degree in dietetics or a master's degree in nutrition and dietetics after completing a four-year undergraduate degree. An internship of up to one year in a professional setting is also required. A dietitian can become licensed after passing a national examination and can then use the title Registered Dietitian. Most states also license dietitians. In Utah, the title is Certified Dietitian. Now let's catch up with Caitlin in the Newborn Intensive Care Unit, one of several locations she works in every day. So I work as a clinical dietitian, which is primarily inpatient in a hospital setting. So what that means, a lot of the job is just seeing patients um, for different reasons. So whether you're getting a consultation because they have a wound or an injury that they need special nutritional needs with, or if they're here long term and maybe require like alternative nutrition, like a tube feed, those are kind of quick at the bedside, just kind of bringing up kind of acute needs, what they need just for a, a little bit. I also work outpatient where a patient will come in, sit down with me, usually for about an hour, and I'll get a good background about what they're currently doing, what they already know about nutrition, and then we kind of go from there. In most cases, if they say a cup, you can think of your hand. So put that in your hand. And I like to teach them a lot of hands-on skills, you know, whether it's learning portion sizes or cooking. We give them tons of information because we want people to go home and feel empowered to make good nutrition decisions. So I'm Caitlin Boyer. I'm one of the instructors for the Way to Health program. I also get to teach classes, which is probably my favorite thing about my job. I love that group setting, so I'm working with patients on weight management. It's really good to get people together just to kind of bounce off ideas with each other and hear questions maybe you wouldn't typically ask. One of the things I love about working in the hospital is the interaction you have with all the other disciplines. So the doctor, the nurses, the pharmacist, when I work in the newborn ICU, we get together every morning with all those healthcare providers and we each kind of go through, okay, here's the nutritional needs, this is what's going on. The pharmacist will talk about medication, the bedside nurse will talk about just the day-to-day -day stuff, and it's really cool to kind of integrate together. You know, where are things crossing over? What can we do together to kind of make sure that we're meeting goals and helping the babies grow and improve. So that's a really big part of the day. I spend a few hours actually, and a lot of it is just communication with each other. We have charts for all the babies where the bedside nurses are keeping track of how much the baby ate and when, if they had any vomiting or if they were having wet diapers. So kind of just the ins and outs of what was going on through the, the previous 24 hours. So a lot of what I do is just computing. I'm just keeping track and doing lots of calculating and numbers and then I use a calculator and a program to kind of go through and then convert that into how much calories did the baby get in the day, how much protein did they get, how many vitamins and minerals. It takes a lot of math skills and a lot of kind of computing but it's really fun and it's, it's cool to see those results and those outcomes. I love working with the newborn patients because really they're pretty helpless, you know, they can't do anything for themselves and nutrition is such a big part and so just giving them the right amount of calories, the right type of formula, you can almost see immediate results and you see these babies grow and get better and it's so rewarding to watch them on their path, you know, be tiny premature babies who are super sick and then in a couple months they're thriving and growing like a, a healthy baby and so that's what's really rewarding It's just to see the progress. What I love the most about what I do is the patient involvement. I knew I wanted to have a job where I was working with people one-on-one. -on -one. There are plenty of misconceptions about being a dietitian. My favorite is people always automatically assume that I am a calorie dictionary, or people think that all dietitians do is weight loss. But really, there's a lot of balance and moderation in nutrition, and I enjoy ice cream every once in a while, and it's completely healthy and balanced. So that's one misconception that they think dietitians are kind of naysayers. We're gonna be the ones that say, oh, never eat this again, or this is bad for you. But I would never say any food is bad for you. Everything can typically fit into a balanced diet. So the best advice I could give to kind of the younger generation is just learn to understand food. It's concerning to me that so many people are growing up without actually understanding food and cooking and being in the kitchen and preparing meals. If we could just be eating whole real foods and learning skills in the kitchen, learning how to go to a supermarket and you know what foods to pick out for yourselves. Very basic, you know, what are fruits, what are vegetables and what do you do with them? 
if I gave you a butternut squash, would you know what to do with it or how to cook it? So very basic skills and, you know, without even getting too crazy, like making it a fresh salad or eating fruit where, you know, nothing goes into it. Let's cook from home. Let's look at a recipe. What do we need to know how to cook it and to follow it? There's so many roles a dietitian can have. I mean, even just from my day to day where I'm in the newborn ICU and part of the day and then teaching classes. So there's so many options for a dietitian. Every day is exciting to get up and go to work.